Bonjour, hello. My name is Usha Rina Rangu. I'm from Mauritius and I currently live in Boston in the United States. The title of my short story is Tite, which means tea in Creole Mauritian, in Mauritian Creole, my native language. Uh, my story, Dite, is structured around the memories of a diasporic Mauritian woman. Um, each memory is about the important women in her family. So her mother, her lover, and her grandmother. Um, and each uh, memory is tied to a specific tea in her collection, thus the title of the story, Dite. On the one hand, the story speaks to her love of tea. On the other, it is set against the colonial violence of tea plantations in Mauritius. Um, I wanted to write a story uh, that speaks not quite about the direct effects of colonialism, but about the more subtle um, and also more long-lasting effects of this, of this violence. Uh, I wanted to show how it infiltrates um, the, the ways in which we speak, the ways in which we move into the world, and even um, our experiences of sexual intimacy. Um, I am one of those writers who believe that fiction is not just about writing a story. Fiction is about writing truth. Um, it's about um, speaking truth to power. It's about envisioning a different kind of world. Um, it is a sort of social activism, if you will, um, around which to build community. And I submitted my short story to the Commonwealth uh, Short Story Prize precisely for this reason. Um, there's a certain community that has formed around this prize in the last 10 years. Um, for instance, I am an islander, I am an African, I am a diasporic South Asian, uh, and I have lived half of my life in North America. And uh, this diversity and multiplicity in my own identity, in my own life experiences, um, informs the way uh, I write, informs my writing sensibilities. And I wanted to find a home that understands this diversity, a home where this diversity is not just a, a, um, a token or an exception, but is the norm. And I believe that um, the, the judges, the writers, the readers of the Commonwealth Short Story Prize um, are that home.